Welcome to Henry Real Life and Politics. Today we are talking to Mr. Herman Manyora, a top political commentator. He will tell us about how Kenyans have learned, what they have learned from the last election, the mistakes, the dirty tricks, the fake news, Cambridge Analytica, Analytica Supreme Court nullifying the election, the servers were never opened. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Manuel. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Now, please tell us, what, what do you remember about the fake news and so on? What lessons do you think Kenyans could have learned from the last election, the mistakes? I, I think it's not just Kenya, the whole world, it affected America so much in 2016, mm -hmm. uh, when Trump was elected. Mm -hmm. It was still there in 2020. Uh, we had a share of it. We saw Cambridge Analytica mm -hmm. and uh, Fake news is here in the world. This is the era of fake news because of the social media, mainly and control, even the main media, and the speed at which news travels. By the time you discover that news was fake, damage has already been caused. Yeah. Now, most times people say, talk of the deep state, but I think the media is very powerful because could it be the real deep state? What do you think? Yeah, media has traditionally been called the fifth estate, the fourth estate. Some people are beginning to call it the real estate, the deep state. Media controls the way the world runs. In America, media decides who become president, oftentimes. Most elections, presidents are actually media presidents. So the, president, the, the press is very, very important, especially in an election. And you can see, for example, William Ruto is riding on the hustler narrative, on the bottom-up narrative. If, the, if it wasn't for the media, he wouldn't be doing as well as he's doing. So media is very powerful. So you have to invest a lot in the media? Yeah, media. Media is powerful. Either you invest in media or you have some control over it. Yeah. Now, the next phase of this election, you do a lot with coalitions. What do you see panning out? Well, Kenya is a tribal nation, and it, it, it is a surprise that the coalition took a long time to come. Uh, I would have expected this to start with 1992. But I think we were all in a hurry to remove Moy. We thought Moy was just a pushover. But uh, by 2002, it was clear you had to do a coalition to win. Remember the Rainbow Coalition? And since then, we are deeply into coalition. Now, recently, a law has been put in place. I think it's the nature of our demographic that dictate that uh, we do some kind of uh, coalition politics. So it is here with us for a while. Do you expect any changes from last election? Because the, we had a lot of problems, like the, uh, the results that could not tally. I mean, I mean, you saw even some candidates attacking uh, the IBC officials because they were very annoyed. You know, elections are very emotive. To expect anything else is to be naive. Elections are very, very emotive and they generate emotion. And the people can do all manner of things, can insult others, can even be physical. So that's, 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 that's because elections are very emotive. We expect that uh, from 2007 we learned our lesson and I'm very happy that we have not been violent and I hope we will not go back to situations similar to 007, 008, that we solve our differences through just talking. It could, it could be a little hard on each other, but not physical. Now, uh, since you are from Western Kenya, yes, yes. it would be wrong not to ask you about what is happening there. Yes, yes. How did you see the earthquake? Well, the earthquake was felt, the tremor was felt, but more in the DP's camp than, than where it was intended. You know, sometimes scientists can warn the tsunami will be coming in another direction, but then it goes beyond that direction or in another direction. I didn't see the impact where it was intended. It didn't affect Raila in any way you could talk of. But now what is happening there is that the, a number of <coughs> sorry, a number of of those candidates or the incumbents yes. have defected yes. to DAP. And now the question is how would Mudavadi survive if all his MPs have defected, governors have defected? 
That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The adequate hit Mudavadi himself and Ruto more than it, the intended victim. Because you see now all his, 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 his MPs, almost all of them have, have defected to Azimio. So that's adequate. And when he joins Ruto, he doesn't bring capital. He brings liability because the people of Mount Kenya are now restless. They are wondering, what has this man come to do? I thought we were the main shareholders in, in the Hustler Nation. Now Mudavadi is coming again. Could he be made the VP, DP? Running man. You saw so really that I'm saying the earthquake has hit the wrong place. So that earthquake may not have helped. No, it, it has the, hit them instead of helping them. Instead of helping them. Yeah, yeah. So now, if we let's say we are at uh, July yes. or June, which kind of scenario would you paint? I think this thing will be decided in a couple of months. Two, three months, it will be over. Mm. August will be a mere formality. Mm. In other words, I'm saying. These alignments you are seeing, things being put in, in place and taking shape. By March, April, the game is, will be over. You know those also IBC timelines, mm. nominations, coalition agreements, deposited. The game will, first of all, it will be clear who is working with who. But much more important will be clear what is the strength of who. And I can assure you, between Raila and, and Ruto, one person will be gone. By April. Ah, of course. It will be waiting for the for a formality. August to me is gonna be a mere formality. There's no contest in August. The contest will be clearly won by April. Very clear. What if Kalonzo hangs on? He it's part of the game. In fact, hanging on is better for Raila. Mm. Yeah. Why? Right. Because you see, if Kalonzo cheaply Mm. I must use that word. Chipley joins Raila. Mm. It could leave Ukamban open to Ruto. People can get annoyed and vote Ruto in anger. It's true. Yeah. You know that kind yeah. of thing? Yeah. So, it is better perhaps for if he... he you know, you know, Kalonzo is working at tight rock. Mm. It's not easy for him. And you see the kind of move Mudawad made. Because he was in a similar situation like Kalonzo. You go in, you know you are going to lose badly. You support Raila, people are going to say things. You go to Ruto, you see what has happened to Mdaba. So Kalonzo is walking a tight rope. And if I were Kalonzo, I will, I will think very hard. You have to think hard and big in order to come up with a move that leaves you intact while helping the person you want to help. Because at this point, Kalonzo will be seeking to help Raila. Certainly, I have no doubt about that. How he does it is the elephant in the room. That is the elephant in the room. Yes, actually it will be a repeat of the scenario in Western Kenya, yes. whereby Mudavadi thought he is helping Ruto. And then he has... Yes, does not he help. hasn't helped him. Yes, yes, yes. So if he goes to Raila, it could injure Raila, depending yes. on how he goes. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. But you see, he could also... Mm. He could just remain Kalonzo standing with Mother Karua there and the rest of these people until when Ruto is damaged beyond repair. Then they can say, we don't see we are going anywhere, please, let's push to Raila. Just for the sake of... Yeah, so I'm saying it has to be a product. Every, yeah. Any move they make must be a product of serious thinking. Mm. What about running mates? Do you think, what, who do you think would make a good running mate? For? For Raila, in particular. Raila and Ruto have a problem. They are forced to pick from Mount Kenya, that's point number one. Secondly, within Mount Kenya, there are politics of Mount Kenya. Within Kikuyu land, the people of Muranga are saying Nyeri have had it through, Kibaki, Kiambu have had it through, Kenyatta. Ki, the Kenyatta one and Kenyatta two. Mm -hmm. So it's time for Muranga. See, that, that makes it Peter Kennedy. The, the people, the Mount Kenya Foundation, I think they are fronting Peter Kennedy. But there are also people who are saying Raila should look for a dangerous card. And a dangerous card is someone like Masharia, CS Masharia. Yes. Or James Mwangi of Equity. That's a very dangerous card. Why? Hmm? He's not a politician. Mm. They have made serious network for James Mwangi business, is equipped through supporting people. You know? But more importantly, there are people who will easily step down for the right person when the right time comes. Because if you give Peter Kennedy, you are saying you want him to be president. Is that what the Huru wants? Is that what the system wants? The system could be have more in mind, Gideon Moy. Never the better person to hold brief would be James Mwangi. Or, or Masharia, and they come with resources, and matched and rivaled resources. 
Yeah. And, and, and both of them come from the right place in, this, in Mount Kenya. Then there's also Mount Kenya East. Mm -hmm. Peter Munya is also there. So it's not tricky, it's not easy for Raila Odinga. Neither is it tricky, easy for, for Ruto. For Ruto. Yeah. Running mate is mm -hmm. a headache to Ruto, headache to Raila. He must also pick from Central Kenya. From Central, Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. Now when you pick, who are you picking? If you pick Rigadi Gashagwa to be Ruto, running mate, people of Kiambu are now open to attack. Who will now just pick all of them and take to Raila? Yeah. The Muranga people will be wondering, so it has to be Kiambu, Nyeri. Kiambu, Nyeri, okay, fine. We in Murang have nobody you could pick. Again, you see, so it's not easy for any of them. Mount Kenya is the same. They are saying, we thought this was the time. Kiduke Kindiki, Kinduke, Kinduke, mm. and this guy, mm. this guy, my friend, um, Mudomi Njuki, mm. governor for Kirinyaga, Neme mm. Kiri, Darakaniti. Darakaniti yeah. Those people are saying, no, it must be us. So it's not easy for, for Ruto also. It's very difficult. It's a trick. I think the coalitions have to, you have to be very careful before yes. you take any step. Yeah. Don't look for any earthquake. No, no, no. The if you go the earthquake way, like Mdabadi, it will burn you. It will burn you. Yes. And so Raila has been very careful. But I think Raila has played this game for long. Mm. And you see, Raila, there are two heads. The Uhuru head and the Raila head. Two heads yeah, is better than one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seasoned politician. Yeah. Sizu Raila is a Raila. Uhuru is a Uhuru, a Kenyatta and they have been the president for two terms. When you put these two heads together, I think they will think much better than one head, which is William. Yeah, because he claim also he has two heads now with Mudavadi there. No, Mudavadi is not a but head. But from the evidence, when he was away, mm. a few days ago, Mudavadi could yes. not hold, you can't. I mean, he could not gather any no, no. big crowd for the The head rally. we are talking about yes. can only be a Ruto head, yes. a Raila head, a Uhuru head. There is no other head in this country, not for now. Not from among the people we know up there. Another head was Moy. Kibaki was not a head. The head was Moy. Political head. Hard thinking. Political genius. Raila, Ruto, Uhuru. President Moy. That's the head I'm talking about. A man who can read the game. Because Moy is out <laughs> of the picture now. Daniel yeah, yeah. So, so we now have, no, not Gideon. Yeah, the Daniel Arab Moy. Yeah. I'm looking at, when I talk yes, about yes. political head, yes. those are the political heads. So now we have three political heads. And Kibaki two are is together. there, but he doesn't talk. Um, what is, he's a nice man. No, Kibaki doesn't talk. No, they are nice guys, but they are not politicians. Yeah. A political head is to be a, a political genius. A person who plays the chess. But if you know, become a chess, you become a pangwa. Even if you become president, you will become a pale kwa game. Yake. It's his game. You are not the master. Mm. Raila is a master. Ruto is a master. Guru is a master. Mm. Chess master. You know, they, they are playing the game and they are reading the game. So now when you have two masters against one, I, I think for Ruto it's very difficult to surmount this. Now just to conclude, which scenario would you paint? Like uh, if let's say Raila wins, Yes. I mean how would he I think he has to get a lot of out a lot of people from I mean his kitchen cabinet. Yes. He'll have to form a new one because they'll have a lot of problems given the what has been going on on the campaign trail. I mean uh, some comments by Junet Mohammed and other people. You know they say you campaign in poetry but govern in prose. The people you work with in campaign are not necessarily the people you'll govern with. It doesn't work like that. The people thought Giuliani would be the Attorney General, even Secretary of State, <laughs> when Trump took over. He gave us people we didn't even know. It's not always that the people you campaign with the people you give power. You get it? Mm -hmm. And then the kitchen cabinet is, a, cabinet is a very serious thing. There are people even now who are running this campaign we don't know. That, those are the people who con constitute the kitchen cabinet. And for Raila, it's a very complex situation because he's working with Uhuru Kenyatta. So it's not a solo move he's making. And therefore, when you talk of the inner, the inner kitchen cabinet of our Raila government, you'll also have to bring Uhuru into the picture. So it's a little more complex. Very good. Thank you. Now, on the other side of Ruto, we already saw problems. I mean, like when his supporters, close supporters, raided the 
more university to force the vice chancellor out. That means he has also to change his close allies. Yeah, you know, you need some of these rascals and goons and noisemakers. Every politician, uh, you need them. You need them in a series of Moi, Moi era. You know, Chelaga, Chelanga, whatever they were called, you know, all those people. You need people to scare people from you. You need people to make noise. You need people to test the waters. You need people to excite the tribe to be behind you. But when you now begin to govern, you can't govern like that. So even for Ruto, when he becomes president, if he becomes president, then the people like Sudi will not enter the gate very easily. You tell them to wait for you at Srugoya as you take Morsik, but not State House. Because there are some people when they see a person like that in State House, they don't see you as a serious person. They think this is just a joker. We thought this Ruto man wanted to, to run the country. But now if Ruto is the person who is consulting in State House, then what kind of... It's so you need to put Sudi them away, the man, yeah. put them away, yeah. Especially from the limelight, mm -hmm. from the pictures and the cameras. Then you, 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 these are people who are, they are good buddies. You trust them, you laugh with them. They make you laugh after hard days work. Moi had Baringatunya and people like those. And, uh, and uh, Chelanga, somebody Chelanga from, from Kaburin, I can't remember the, the man with the mayor of Kaburin Net. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you have people like those when you are with them, you laugh. Mm -hmm. You let off steam, stress goes. Isaac Salat. Yeah, mm -hmm. such, you know, you need people, everybody needs those kind of people. So Ruto will need Sudi and the rest of the Ruko men. You need them. To get power. To get power. But even after you have gotten power, they may not be there in the, in the, in the cabinet and in government in a very serious way. But you need them away from the camera when you are taking Mursiki.